Amanda had photos and diaries documenting more than two years of injuries to herself and her son. Police recommended charges against her ex and wrote in a report that Amanda was in serious danger of being killed. But Crown prosecutors said there wasn't enough evidence to charge and told her to instead seek protection through family court. Amanda says she'll never forget what happened when she started to talk about the violence. The judge at the time rolled his eyes and scoffed at me. And at the end of that, I was told by the judge that he believes that I'm alienating my child from his father and I would lose custody of my child if I kept going down that path. Amanda is not her real name. CBC News is not disclosing the BC woman's identity because her case is before the courts. She's not alone. Amanda is one of hundreds of abuse survivors across Canada who say they've been accused of parental alienation or turning their child against the other parent when they talk about domestic violence in custody proceedings. In BC alone, the Rise Women's Legal Clinic interviewed 160 abuse survivors who had been through family court. Just over half claimed they'd been accused of parental alienation. And those conversations left us really concerned about the use of parental alienation claims being used in a retaliatory way when family violence is claimed. Because alienation is considered a form of emotional abuse, judges punish it harshly. Canadian research over the course of a decade found that while judges make alienation findings against fathers and mothers in roughly equal measure, the consequences were worse for women. They were more than twice as likely to lose access to their children when alienation findings were made against them. Amanda says the legal process of trying to protect her family has left her feeling abandoned. Well, it, it stripped me of any kind of strength that I had or courage that I had and put me back into that weak position that I was when I was in the heart of a very abusive relationship. I was right back there. In the meantime, she waits for the court's decision on her family's future. Tara Carmen, CBC News, Vancouver.